Yo, what is up, Seven Figure CEOs? Good to see you. Um, I wanted to hop on here live and talk about our crazy journey in 2020 and how we scaled our business um, to $2.5 million this year uh, with over a million dollars in profit, um, how I became a cash millionaire this year, uh, and not just that, but our client results um, where we've helped uh, 22 coaches scale past seven figures, helped hundreds more scale past six figures in their business. Uh, I wanna share with you just the whole journey of uh, 2020 uh, in this video together. So if you guys are here, hashtag live down below. If you're watching the replay, hashtag replay down below. If you get any value out of this at any time, hit that heart button or hit that like button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. And um, I'm going to be showing you some douchey striped, I can't even talk, douchey striped screenshots uh, to show you our journey throughout this year. And every business, you're just seeing like through everybody's marketing, you're just seeing the highs. But in any business, there are lows too. So I want to walk you through that and kind of my thinking behind everything when we hit some lows. Um, and also, I want to just show you some extra special things that I was able to do this year, like donate a house uh, to a homeless family in Mexico. Uh, I'm paying for that, I'm gonna build it next year. Uh, and building out my team and helping uh, some of my team pay off all of their debt, uh, making the most money that they ever have, they have ever done in their life. Um, so I wanna talk about all that. And if you guys have any questions along the way, just drop the question uh, down below and uh, I'll get it answered for you. So I'm gonna swoop, I'm gonna share, I can't talk, share my screen and flip it around for you guys here um, and show you the little journey. And let's see if I can just pull this into here, which I should. Mm -hmm. There we go. Boom. So if you guys can see Stripe, I believe in full transparency uh, so you guys can see what we're actually doing because there are a lot of coaches, consultants in the space saying, we're, hey, we're doing this, but either they're sharing fake numbers or they're sharing just revenue, which isn't revenue collected. Those are very two different numbers. Um, so I wanna walk you through our actual numbers of what we actually collected this year uh, and tell you month by month what happened, what affected those changes, who did we hire, what did we install into our business to make those changes happen. But first thing that I wanna get into real quick actually happened to me at the gym today. Uh, I'm getting back to the gym every single day. Um, I uh, was repping out um, bench press and I was trying to hit my max and um, I was on my last rep and all of that weight was on me and uh, a cute little girl walked by and it caught my attention, distracted me. And I was like, no, I need to focus on getting this up. Just focus, focus, focus. Because if I didn't, it was going to hit my chest and like it was just going to stay there and I was going to look like an idiot or I would get injured. So I put my focus back on the bar and push it all the way back up and got it up there. Didn't even worry about the pretty girls in the gym or anything like that. And why I say that is because it's a lot like investing into yourself, where if you invest into yourself, if you have that weight on your chest, that is your focus. That is what's gonna propel you forward to focus on that thing and to actually get it up and complete that rep. Without that thing on your chest, you're gonna get distracted. You're gonna be pulled in way too many different directions. And what I've learned is when you invest into yourself, and you have that weight on your chest, you bet your ass you are gonna get it up. So I just wanna start off with that little analogy um, because I think it's super important, everybody here, invest in yourself, invest in yourself, invest in yourself. If you didn't make uh, December uh, your January, make January your January, invest in yourself and make 2021 the best year of your life and invest in the right people. I'm a little biased, I think we're the best, but, uh, but invest in yourself, whoever it is, make sure that you always have a coach by your side 
that's helping you grow your business, grow your life, grow your grow your uh, uh, health, um, become healthier, um, and all that good stuff. So I want to start off with that. Uh, don't you have a girlfriend? I do. I do have a girlfriend. She's actually coming in right now. Uh, we're in an open relationship, though. Um, we have been for the past two years. So checking people out is completely fine. Um, and uh, good questions. So keep the questions coming. If you have any, I'll get them answered. But I want to walk you through our actual numbers through Stripe, tell you guys what happened um, and how we navigated uh, the ups and downs of the year. So let's hop into it. So give me a, I'll pull it up on my phone, but let me know you can see my screen or else this will make no sense to you. I'm gonna pull it up on my phone too. Just say, put a one in the chat if you can see it. Cool. Josh, what up, dude? Good to see you. Devin, what's up, man? Molly, awesome. All right, so you can see it, perfect. Here we go. So here's our 2021 in Stripe. Um, we have another 200,000 um, through direct payments um, and through PayPal, all that stuff. So year started off well with 165K uh, cash collected in the month. Um, about 50% of that was profit. Um, in the coaching industry, when you're getting over $100,000, if you're doing uh, 50 to 30% profit, uh, that's really, really good. Um, the people that are profiting um, more than that typically have shitty delivery and shitty teams, um, meaning that they aren't actually delivering on their promise for clients. So if anybody has more profit than that, uh, they're actually a douche and they're not actually uh, delivering what they're promising on. So uh, we did 165 uh, in January. That was from our two programs and January hit off a bang. Now, by the end of January, my personal Facebook account got shut down. And I was like, oh, shit. Um, and a bunch of people's accounts were getting shut down. But what we did was we directed our focus on delivery. And through February, I uh, saw it as an opportunity instead of a problem and uh, built out Authority Accelerator 3.0 all over again. and. From that point on, uh, February kind of sucked. We were under 100K. Um, but then since I just focused on delivery and made sure that I was super confident in the Authority Accelerator program, that we would be able to scale uh, when uh, we came back online on Facebook. So um, we did that. And in March, we did 180K. Um, and absolutely crushed it that month. Again, this small team, we did about 50% in profit that month and it was really, really good. Um, uh, and then we tapered down a little bit in April and this was because we had a lot of pay in fulls uh, in March, which was awesome. Um, but uh, the reoccurring wasn't, uh, didn't float us for the next month. So we went down a little bit and this is where I hired a new salesperson. So we ended up switching salespeople uh, and we got Mitchell on board here in April. Uh, and there's a ramp up period with any new hire. So we were ramping up Mitchell. We hired two sales setters this time and I was investing into my team because our delivery was, our delivery was awesome between Authority Accelerator and Seven Figure CEO. Now it's just about sales, 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 sales. So um, April, 116K. May, we hired two sales setters. And then June, uh, Mitchell was starting to ramp up. The sales setters were starting to get it. And then we hosted an event in July and we did 215K in July. Absolutely freaking crush it. Awesome, awesome July. And I was like, this is sweet. And we had so much momentum and we kept moving forward. Our sales team continued to build out. Um, I hired, uh, 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 oh, I missed one part. In June, we hired um, Jimmy as our marketing manager. He started running paid ads. So that helped us bump up a little bit more in July. 
Um, and then August continued to crush it because we had ads going, we had our sales team going, they were just rocking it out on all cylinders. And then in September, absolutely crushed September, uh, just from the momentum that we had. And we had a lot of pay and fools from seven figure CEO. And then in October, another 300K month, uh, crushed it, a lot of pay and fools. And then we went down a little bit in November because we had to make a lot of changes to our infrastructure in terms of operations. I actually hired a new ops manager um, and he is an absolute savage and he's just ramping up right now. So um, now uh, we'll end the month around 300K uh, cash collected, which is awesome. Uh, we have all of our systems set up. We have all of our team set up uh, to scale to uh, 6 million in the new year. Um, and that's all been from building out the systems, building out the team this year. And when adversity hit, like in February, uh, we focused on different areas where we could make our business better. So I wanted to go through that quick timeline to give you a visual of the ups and downs in business. Uh, nobody is a straight line up. What you're typically seeing uh, from other people posting, saying they had 100K month or 500K month, uh, that's usually an awesome month, but it's not straight up from there. And you've got to have the team and the systems in place to scale, scale sustainably month after month after month after month. So <clears throat> thanks, uh, thanks, bro. So I wanted to share that with you guys. If you have any questions on that, drop it in the chat. I just want to be really honest and transparent with you guys with numbers. Uh, make sure that uh, I'm not a big marketer. Um, like I don't do the douchey marketing tactics. Uh, we just really rely on our client results and coaching our clients uh, to be the best that they can be. And um, also I was just having a conversation on um, a sales interview that I was just doing uh, and we were talking about other gurus in the space and all of that and like how they're trying to heal their emotional wounds through money. And I've never really cared about money that much. Um, like it's awesome. It's given me a lot of freedom. I got this Rolex from it, which is sweet, but ultimately I just want to have a fun business with a fun team with fun clients and build out amazing programs that change people's lives. Um, so like, that's my main focus. Like I, we, like, I don't really care about creating an empire that's going to take over the world. I care about serving clients and really connecting amazing human beings inside of our masterminds. So, uh, so yeah, kind of went on a tangent there. Um, but if you guys have any questions, drop them down below for me. would love to answer any and all of those for you. Uh, Joe says, bro, congrats on everything, um, but it hits home on caffeine and sobriety. Seriously, congrats. Joe, thank you, dude. Um, quitting alcohol, becoming sober was the best thing uh, that I ever did for my personal life, my health, uh, and for growing my business. Um, alcohol, drinking that every weekend is a momentum killer. I was drinking like four times a week before I quit. And uh, um, I didn't know how much brain fog I had when I was drinking. Um, and when I cleared that out of my life, just my life got so much better. Um, I became so much closer with my parents, with my loved ones, um, and uh, with my friends. And it's been freaking awesome. Um, and then caffeine, which I also want to talk about. Uh, I took six months off of caffeine two years ago which was probably the second best thing I ever did in my life um, because it caffeine is a lot like a credit card. Like you keep swiping it and swiping it and swiping it and building up all this debt of energy because caffeine isn't giving you energy. It's actually blocking you from feeling when you're tired. So you build up this debt. Um, and then when you go off caffeine, you feel it, or you might be drinking caffeine uh, today and you feel like you're just jumping from thing to thing. You're not focused like that first time you had caffeine where you were ultra focused and ultra just like getting shit done. Um, so I think it's super important for people to take breaks from caffeine at least. Um, I'm just eliminating it completely uh, from my life because it doesn't give you energy. Um, in, the, in the role that I'm in now, it's the visionary role and I need to be creative. Uh, I need to have my energy at full force 
um, and be able to have a clear mind uh, to ultimately create the vision for the company. We have all the other pieces in place to scale it for me. Um, we have all the pieces of the value chain. We have marketing manager, we have sales manager, uh, we have an ops manager and we have delivery manager takes care of the whole value chain for me. Um, so my role is to create that vision to lead that team. And I'm way more effective without caffeine in my system actually doing that. So, <clears throat> um, Justin, yes, I'm in Tampa. We're going to have to meet up, dude. Um, I'm in uh, Ebor. Ebor. Uh, so come check it out, dude. Um, give me a text uh, and we'll hang out. Um, <clears throat> but there are a few other cool things that happens. We should have it here. Boom. So probably one of the coolest things is we've systemized the process of scaling a coaching business to seven figures. And uh, we call it the 12 systems of a seven figure business, 12 systems in 12 months. Um, and this is, we'll be sharing more and more and more of this as time goes on. Um, but you need to have your foundations laid first. And that comes with the mindset, the messaging and the model. You have your four core departments, your marketing, sales, operations, and delivery. And you have three systems for each department. And when you nail these down, you can scale sustainably to seven figures and ultimately to eight figures when you nail these systems down. So I can't show all of this uh, to you guys, um, but if you wanna learn more, uh, we have a special um, uh, masterclass at the end of the month here, end of, January. Uh, if you want to hop on that masterclass, uh, I believe it's only going to be $97. Uh, just hashtag masterclass down below and you'll learn about all 12 systems to scale to seven figures and beyond. So just really cool methodology that we created. Um, let me grab some other things. Uh, won the two comma club award, or at least got it on stage this year with Russell Brunson, which was really cool. Uh, I'm not the tallest guy in the world. And it was nice to see that Russell wasn't that tall or his business partner. Uh, so that was cool. What else did we do? Um, uh, yep. I was getting the award. And then here's a picture of, um, we got to donate a house to a homeless family um, in Mexico. Uh, there's the check uh, that I gave to Mike Sherbikoff, who runs the Greatness Foundation. That was really, really freaking cool um, to be able to uh, do that. And we're actually building it in April, I believe, of uh, 2021. So just some really cool things that happened in uh, 2020 that I wanted to share with you guys. So see some masterclass people, Steve, awesome, Josh, awesome. Uh, we'll get you over more information shortly here. Um, I just wanted to open up uh, this for Q&A with you guys um, on any questions around um, building your business, um, life, all of that good stuff and kind of the cool things that uh, I've been able to accomplish in 2020. Uh, we got a good question here from Anthony. Let's do it. Uh, what was the biggest hurdle you faced starting off your company? Um, did you do all things marketing or just go straight to focusing on one niche? Um, so the first company that I ran was running Facebook ads for local businesses. Um, so well, I tried an e-com store before that and then I ran ads for local businesses. And I was diverse. I went into gyms. I went into uh, uh, into restaurants, into chiropractic offices, and it was kind of a shotgun approach. Um, it started broad because I didn't want to be niche right away. Um, I wanted to keep my options open, and ended up scaling that bad boy to six figures. And people were following me on my personal page and asking for coaching and courses and that sort of stuff. I was just documenting my journey, 
and it kind of happened it was serendipity um, because people asked for that stuff. I made one program, made a good amount of money from it. I'm like, holy shit, there's something here. Um, so I kept running my agency and then just focused on uh, coaching alongside of that, started making way more money from coaching, had way more impact from coaching instead of um, fishing for an agency client. I was teaching people how to fish, which actually made a huge impact in their lives. Um, so that's why I love the coaching space is you're teaching people how to fish. And that is ultimately what drives um, massive impact in that person's life. So um, then open up the Facebook group and uh, just marketing sales delivery, um, hit that hard, did half million in my first year and uh, burnt myself out uh, from doing everything myself. Uh, and then second year, started building teams, starting building systems, really relied on the vision uh, and the values of our company to hire and get the right people in place. Um, and since then, we've scaled like crazy. Uh, it's because of the team. Like to get to six figures, that's all hustle. That's having one offer, uh, focusing on marketing and sales 80% of the time, scale to seven figures. It's about having that vision. It's about having that team. It's about having those systems in place. Uh, to ultimately scale your business. And there are way too many coaches in the space te teaching tactics, which tactics won't help you scale. Like tactics will help you scale to six figures, but to seven figures, it's about knowing how to hire, knowing how to get the right people on your team, knowing how to install the right systems at the right time um, and what you should be focused on uh, and being able to lead your team. Um, <clears throat> so that's what we do in Seven Figure CEO is really focused on the team and the systems and all that good stuff. <clears throat> good question. Awesome. I want to take over the world. Saba, you savage. Awesome. So if you have any more questions, drop them down below. Um, it's been an awesome freaking year. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going on, uh, but there's nothing better than being able, being in the coaching space and being able to drive uh, impact and be able to do everything online. <clears throat> so if you are a coach, uh, let's hop on a call. Uh, let's see uh, if we can help you scale. Um, if you're not a coach, uh, let's, let's see if uh, you want to do coaching uh, and hit me up in my DMs uh, and we have uh, some stuff to help you there. Um, but I don't see any more questions coming through. Uh, so I'll end it there. If you got any value out of this, hit that heart button, hit that like button, the more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, more people we can help. And, uh, thank you guys so much for making this an amazing, uh, 2020. Um, uh, just been so blessed. Um, so grateful, uh, to have an audience um to have amazing loved ones in my life have an amazing team uh have amazing clients appreciate all of you and uh i'll see you guys in 2021